Hi everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of Silent Hill 2 Remake. And we're getting pretty close to the end now. How close? No idea. No idea. This game has literally been twisty turny and totally shocking, surprising, throw me off. I don't know what's going on. Crazy. <clears throat> Whole thing's been a mess. For me, I've been a mess. I've been an emotional wreck through this game. But here we are. We are gonna take a look at this and move along quickly. Last episode was me beating my head against the wall the entire episode. We made progress, but I feel like it was progress made with a lot of damage to my forehead as I beat it against the wall. Anyways. Um, I'm aware of how to beat this one now, so we gon' we gonna do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, one. Alright, now go. Awesome. Cool. That's what I was looking for. We're gonna move right along. And the reason I did that was because, <clears throat> if not, this would have been 15 minutes of, <sighs> and finally, maybe, maybe figure it out. Um, so no, we weren't doing that this time. I like that the music is just playing throughout the entire hotel. Okay, great. That's not friggin' disturbing at all. Yeah, ding dong dong, ding dong dong. Just let me through, let me watch the videotape. What are you? Observation room? You telling me there's more to this? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Well. Well. I'm not super excited about what I'm about to see. <laughs> really not. It's going to be one of those another emotional gut punch moments that Yeah. There you go, buddy. Are you taping again? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. <clears throat> you know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. <sighs> it's too bad we have to leave. Promise you'll take me again, James. Oh, wow. <laughs> In the words of George Takei, oh my. <laughs> that was... 
way more brutal than I expected. Yeah, James, you're kind of a POS, buddy. Hey, there you are. Do you know where Mary is? <laughs> She's sleeping with the fishes right now. Come on. Not to make too fine Talk a joke of it, but golly. Mary's gone. She's dead. Liar. That's a lie. No. It's the truth. She... She died because she was sick? Uh... Yes. I killed her. <laughs> oh, oh, you're gonna be honest. Okay, let's go, buddy. <laughs> oh, Killer, pardon me, I laugh in uncomfortable situations. <laughs> waiting for you. Why? Why? I'm sorry. Mary, you know, isn't here. Mary? You know, I know there's been a lot of discourse surrounding uh, the developer of this game, their handling of certain mental health topics, and I know I even myself have mentioned, look, I'm not trying to be an apologist for anybody, but I also, having lived in a different culture most of my life and then come back to the United States and then watching over the last 20 years, kind of how this country has grown uh, we'll call it that grown and developed and changed um, <clears throat> cultural differences they're a real thing whether we like it or not they are a real thing does that mean it's right does that mean it's wrong does that mean whatever no it doesn't I will say this with the guidance oh man that's beautiful golly sorry that was gorgeous Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, with the guidance of Konami, which, again, shockingly, really showing love to an IP that they've kind of not been the greatest to over the years. Um, I feel like the developer really nailed it with the themes in this one. That's my personal opinion. Okay? You know what? Everybody's got their opinion. You can agree, you can disagree. I've seen people, you know, argue that the third person camera is what ruined this. I've seen I've seen hot takes on every single angle. Here's my hot take 
on this game. It's good. It's my Silent Hill 2, okay? Silent Hill 2001 can be your Silent Hill 2, and that's fine. That's okay. It's your preference, and that's cool. My preference, my choice, the one that I identify with, is this one. Maybe because I'm older, maybe because... I don't know, I've matured, I've changed, I understand things about life that I didn't understand before. Um, I really don't know, I don't know what to tell you. This is the one that has struck me and has wormed its way into my heart. I haven't even beat the game yet, I'm still on my first playthrough, okay? It has taken me almost all month to do this, I'm doing an hour or two hours a day, and every single bit of it has been recorded for posterity in this series. Which is kind of cool. I mean, some people did it live on stream, and they've been streaming it every day and playing 12 hours a day of this. I don't think I could handle that. My emotional tank is not there <laughs> to be able to handle 12 hours a day of this. Um, what I do know is I'm going to be playing this game for the next 20 years. till I'm 60. And when I'm 60, I'm probably still going to be playing it. And... When my kids and my kids' kids are old enough, I'm going to be like, there's this game you need to play. Oh, Dad, it's so retro. We can just jump into the VR room and live it. <laughs> Silent Hill 2 Remake, 20 years from now, let's go. Full-on Star Trek uh, holodeck experience. That's what we need. <laughs> Until then, I don't know, I'm grateful for this. That's that's what I can say. At the end of this, I'm, I'm grateful for the experience. I'm grateful for the developer and the work that they put in. I'm grateful for some of the original team members who came back. Um, because with that vision, with that vision from the past coming to the future, it was able to bring this to that level that hit me exactly where I needed to be hit and I am so grateful I was really I I was not excited about this remake for different reasons than almost the entire like fan community around silent everybody was like oh it's the developer oh it's this it's that it's the other I was just like the OG is not my favorite one out of the first four <laughs> that was really why I was like huh, really this is the one and now this one is yeah i think it really is it's become my favorite one that videotape honestly that that i put that up there with like the ring videotape where it was just disturbing the way it was edited oof the sound all of it was just man really well done really 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 well done um it hit me and again i want to make it very very clear I'm not an apologist for anybody. I, I I might end up needing to go back and replay the medium on this channel and having a discussion about it and, and seeing. When I first played the medium, I was more excited about it because someone that I knew worked on the game. And I knew that it was the developer's first real exploration of third-person gaming because they'd been doing mostly first person stuff and I'd, I'd really enjoyed their first person stuff I didn't think it was like you know all the best games ever but they were one of my favorite developers I enjoyed what they were putting out so a lot of the uproar around the themes of the medium came up and um, I need to go back and take a look I really do I need to go back and look at that because I want to give it a clear view and I want people to understand that I'm here to be real as real as I possibly can um, anyways I'm getting sidetracked we need to explore let's go explore because Mary's calling us man that is so gorgeous y'all that is just I'm looking at it on like it looks great on my monitor and then I'm looking at what's getting recorded and I'm like oh that's just it's artwork it's so well done Yeah, I mean, how how do you tell me? Like, look, be grateful. We 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 got a new Silent Hill finally. Ooh, just a remake. Yeah, you know, I get that, but 
it's new, it's fresh, it's taking cues from the first four games, the original four games, it really is, and that's awesome. Well, I know where this goes. Come on. Come on, Unreal Engine. I've done stuff like this in the engine, where it's the pushy-pulley object type stuff. And it is, can, can, can be a little janky. Look, James is making his own holes now. Hop down, buddy. It's fun to lead me through too. I do want to. Let's make sure everything is at max capacity. Okay, good. Just because, you know, this game likes to toss surprises at us without notice. Um, hey, I'll take you. Thank you. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your deeds from my sight. I love that they've pushed back in the religious imagery into this. And they've done it, they've done it well in the sense of like, it's not... It's not enough that those people who are like, I really hate the cult aspect of trying to hit a line. It's not enough that those people would be bothered by it, but it's enough that people like me who are like, that is really key to understanding anything that's going on in this place, would be like, oh, okay, yeah, there's the hints, there's the subtle. Oh, look, more holes in the floor. <clears throat> Wonderful. Manuelito, que paso, mi amigo. Good to see you, brother. Well, I think we're going to be going down. Are we? Are we going down further? Nope. Nope, we're going around. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, oh, hey, hey. What you got? Ah, yes, memories. Memories. I've been seeing a lot of stuff, uh, a lot more stuff pop up about the whole loop theory of this is an alternate timeline, James, kind of going through the loop. And when you beat it, it's just more loop. Like he just goes back to the start because he's punishing himself for what he did, which, you know, fair, fair point, because what he did was a really, really terrible thing to do. <clears throat> I don't know if I could do it like I would I would probably be really broken if my spouse, my lovely wife was ill and yeah, but you do see that whole thing of him kind of. How do I put it? Losing himself to the feeling of, well, my wife's not doing well, so I have these needs and these desires. <coughs> which is also understandable. As a guy, it's understandable. But, no, dude. Like, legit, no, dude. Sounds. Well, 
Yeah, for anybody who saw Evil Dead Rise, they kind of did the same thing with the voice there as the voice on the recordings and so that. And I love it. Love it, love it. Want some more of it. Okay, so we're doing corridors. We're getting led through. That's beautiful. Uh, the lighting, uh, just... Uh, I really thought that that was one of the mannequins. That's <laughs> how so much this game has messed me up. <laughs> All right. Well, we got some spookies here, some spookies there. Oh, desk. What you got, desk? Hey, I'll take that. Because I know what's coming. We either got a two two pyramid head boss fight or Mary boss fight or something or other. Let's go to the basement. Again, my favorite part of this hotel, and now that it's all warped and distorted and transformed into a hellish nightmare scape, I'm sure it's gonna be so much better. back. Ooh, 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 wait, wait. Can I grab one of you now? Oh, you're gone. Okay. through this area again. Thankfully, at least this time, I have ammunition. Can I go in there? No, I cannot. Okay. Yeah, that's how I feel, James. That is literally how I feel right now. Is, mm, this is making me very uncomfortable. I don't like it like any of it. Wow, man. That is just... The reflections on the water of the light from the door. Like, come on. I know sometimes I, like, there's... There's the part of me that's just the fan. That's just like, oh, it's really cool, you know? Like, playing Silent Hill 2 is very cool. Then there's the part of me that's like the developer that's like, this is art. Like someone really thought this one through and man, every, just every corridor you come around in this game, there's something visually stunning. And man, oh crap. Oh, here we go. You okay, girl? Mama? Mama! I was looking for you. You're the only one left. Maybe then I can finally rest. Mama! What's wrong? Wait. Oh, man. You're not my mama. <sighs> It's... it's... you. I'm sorry, Angela. I think you were right. Mm. Chills from what we're looking for is 
Not here. Not anymore. Thank you for helping me earlier. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserve what happened. No, Angela, that is not true. Don't pity me. I'm not worth it. That hurts. Or maybe you think you can save me? Love me. Care for me. Heal all my pain. That's what I thought. James. Give me back the knife. No, I won't. Saving it for yourself. Have it your way. It doesn't change anything. see it too for me it's always like this And then she gets dragged in the mud on social media by a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Seeing all that stuff that came up around her model not looking sexy enough or something like that was just like... Dude, I have never ever wanted to be more like, please go outside and touch grass to people than I ever <laughs> in that moment. I was just like, come on. It is what it is though. Some people are really messed up. Oh, you're laying on the ground, so I'm just gonna I'm not having you pop up on me. How about that? design solid 10 out of 10 oh hi come on girl wait what what um cool you good all right well you can hang out there then i guess what is this? <clears throat> 312 to be cleared out. No one's returning.
Oh, we're back here, huh? Okay. Are y'all gonna let me chat with Manuel before we do this? Is that someone screaming? you've grown what big eyes you have what big teeth you have <laughs> okay I think I know what's coming next I'm really not ready. this whole time. Oh. 
dude. Oh my fuck, am I gonna die? <laughs> Of course, it's right when I say something, right? And now I have no ammo for the last boss fight. Colored egg and blood colored egg. Scarlet egg. Okay, cool. Got some eggs. Huh. Oh, of course. Of course. A horse is a horse. Of course, of course. Which way do I go? Um use a scarlet egg. No, not the scarlet egg. down here that I miss no um, okay man these what do you are, want James the use of darkness is so good flowers I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Well, I mean, I get it. Like, Look she's me. sick. I'm disgusting. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. I'm no use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. It'd be easier if they just killed me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off of me. Why are you still here? I told you to go! Are you dead? Please. 
Tell me you'll be okay. Tell me I'm not gonna die. Well. Help me. Something I want to touch on before I move on with this game. Given what we just heard. It's hard loving someone who in a lot of ways kind of given up on themselves. It's hard. But I think, and I could be wrong... And I'm sure that everyone will rush to correct me in the comments. But I I really feel like James did love her. Even when the disease and the drugs made her look like a monster. Because he could see through that. And, and that's really where I wanted to get to with what I wanted to say. was We love who we love because of who they are. If we're loving who we love because of the candy wrapper exterior. Oh, you look really you look really good. Oh, you don't look really good anymore. Well, I don't love you anymore. If it's entirely based on appearance and it's it's that shallow, then what's the point? Truly, what is the point? Um something I've realized being a husband and a father is that you love those that you love because because of who they are and if you can't find that with the person that you are with or the people you are around it's not really worth it yeah and that's just my two cents i don't know i'm not i'm not the arbiter of the of good decisions and reality and morality and all that stuff. I'm an imperfect human being who makes mistakes. So that's where that's at. But I don't know. That's my that's my take on it. If you're gonna love someone, love them for who they are. Don't love them for what they look like. Don't love them for what they can do for you. Love them for who they are. In this situation, I feel like this poor guy just shape forces the mind. 26. Okay. I feel like this poor guy just loved his wife to the very last and yeah he struggled with some oh look you know nurses dressed in skimpy outfits and man I wish my wife didn't look like a monster right now and I mean those are those are the the urges of the flesh and we all suffer from those I don't care if you're straight person gay person anything in between I don't care You suffer from that. We all suffer. It's like part of the human condition. The part that makes us better is when we can overcome that. When we realize that there is a person, there is a light inside of everyone, and you look for that light. Now, some people do a really good job of snuffing that light out in themselves. And those are the people that, that's really all I've got, is that candy wrapper exterior. And... I've been around those people, uh, been in relationships with people like that, and it left me broken, and I had to rebuild every single time that I would get out of that, and many, many times in my life, I stupidly would go back to someone else who had that exterior, that, that superficial nonsense, until I finally learned that if I looked past that and really tried to fall in love with someone 
and and when I say fall in love, it doesn't just mean romantic love. Like I, you know, love your friends, love your family, love those kind of things. I mean, a, a great description is my relationship with my parents. I I struggled to love them for the longest time, and then finally learned to love them. Um, when I mean, you can fall in love with people like that, and see past the exterior, what they can do for you, and all those things. I'm telling you, life gets a lot better. You start finding a lot more fulfillment. All right, here we go. Hi, Mary. Mary? I've missed you so much. <laughs> I've missed you too. We can finally be together. Forever. No. James. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I know you tried. James, please. But she's gone. I know that now. Stop it. And I can't just keep pretending. Shut up! What do you want? Do you even know anymore? I'm yours. I'm here for you. So what if I'm not her? I can give you what she never could. I can be better than her. What else do you want me to be? What else can I be? Hmm? I am so sorry. Maria, I really am. But this has to stop. Maria is it's the time town. to let it go. Well, she's whatever is behind the town. <clears throat> I, I don't know. Is, is Maria Samael? Like, they, that's, let's get deep into this. Because this whole no. torture ritual that James is repeatedly putting himself through. Yeah, there's something else going on here. I won't let you do this to me. <sighs> uh oh. I won't let you go. Uh oh. I can't. So this is this video most likely will come out the day after my uh, series on Stray Souls. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about it now. And this is how you do a boss fight. 
This is how you do a simple, enjoyable, fun boss fight. There needs to be the boss, and then there needs to be something else that the boss either does, has, or throws at you that keeps you on your toes. I tried to t I tried to say that many, many times. <sighs> Come on, dude. Dude. So that was just crazy, right? Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, what is this? What is happening? Scared to turn around, dude. Oh, these things are still chasing me. Where are you? Where are you? I'm hearing you. I don't see you. This is like whack a mole. <laughs> I'll take it. That's awesome. <laughs> Use what's good, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh. Again, how you do a boss fight right. I I wish I wish I had more words to apologize to everyone for how straight those turned out. Because we should have had awesome stuff like this. And we totally could have. Totally could have. Ugh, the butterflies. Ugh. And the fact that I'm doing those noises just makes me happy because it means it's done right. It's done so right. Look at that, bro. Right, girl. You gonna drop down or what? I know I keep moving, but you know, you could stop for a minute.
Oh, the weird whispering is so... Ugh. Yep. Sound design done right. Boss fight done right. This is not unfair. If I had one complaint on the enemy design, it was the big enemy to do that to you. It's just cheap. But I'm probably just split pairs here. See what's happening. Okay, no screen so you can get close to me again.
James. James. Shh. Well, <sighs> there it is. There it is. Hey, handsome. you they wanted the pain to end yeah you did mm -hmm. but that's not why I did it <laughs> the truth is I hated you I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. If that's true, then why do you look so sad? James. Emotional gut punch, left and right. Oh, man. Here. What is this? It's what you've been looking for. Forgiveness, absolution. Hmm. Poor Mary, man. That disease, whatever the disease was, I mean, cancer, who knows? I don't know what it was. It's rough. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Mm. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. To come and see me. But you never do. So, I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know, I've done a terrible thing to you. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this could be my last chance. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I'm afraid, James. 
I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Every time you come to see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. I'm so sorry. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. I was so angry. I struck out at everyone I loved. Especially you. And that's why I understand if you hate me. But I want you to know. I will always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead, but that's okay. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just hope the pain will end soon, so that you remember me for who I was, and not what the disease made me. I want you to go on. I want you to live for yourself and for others. Like you did for me. James. You made me happy. I legitimately don't have words. <laughs> Maybe that's kind of the point, though. folks there it is my first playthrough of a new Silent Hill game those folks who know me uh, personally know that I won't shut up about Silent Hill I won't shut up about how much I love these games how much they have influenced my life and Yeah. And I'm just I don't know. I'm I'm sitting here listening to new versions of classic songs by the master himself. And Oh, love it, man. Oh, it's just so good. <laughs> this is I, I I never thought I'd be here. I was so, and again, this is the day, this is coming out, this video is coming out the day after uh, my Stray Soul series. Stray Souls almost killed me, literally. Like, I don't mean that as a joke. And I was laying in my hospital bed beginning of this year going, I'm never going to live to see the day that I play a proper new Silent Hill game. And they done not be wrong, short message, yes. I... I that literally came out while I was in the hospital. But I'm so blessed to be sitting here. I'm able to walk again. I'm able to play these games on. I mean, I have the ability to do these videos. And I feel like I've just been given like a whole second chance. I'm starting my loop over again. 
that's how I feel. So, I'm happy to be starting it with this. And it's cool, I rolled credits on this as I'm recording this the day before the new Alan Wake 2 DLC comes out. I'm excited about that. I'm very, very excited about that. I've, I've tried to not spoil it for myself, but I've seen some trailers. It looks fun. So I'm looking forward to play that on the channel. That's going to be my next set of videos. Um, my next big series is going to be another super massive game. I haven't really decided what yet, um, but it'll be that. And once we're done with that, uh, I am going to be doing... Uh, I'm going to kind of go back and forth, super massive Silent Hill for a while on the channel. So just be prepared. That's kind of what's going to happen. Uh, as soon as I move and that's all done, we'll go back to the... Uh, hopefully daily uploads of itch games. I'm excited to get back to those. Um, I miss doing those. Although, please look forward to Halloween Day with the all-day Halloween extravaganza. Wherever you are in the world, um, central time here in the United States, starting at 12 a.m. on Halloween Day. One video each hour. All itch games, some of them uh, you've probably seen other people play before, some of them you may have not, um, but I want to do something fun on that day and really give myself over to the spooky, and that most likely will be the day that I'll be moving, so um, yeah, that's going to be, while you are all enjoying the videos, I will be hauling stuff <laughs> to the new place. So, there you go. There you have it. Mr. Spooky's channel, growing. Got a fun leftover background. Uh, I do like the distance now between me and the camera. That's a little nicer. You get to see a little more. Uh, I don't know. I'm just talking now because the credits are rolling. Wait. Ugh, credits are rolling. So, I'm letting them roll. Uh... I feel like everybody who had a part in this game deserves... Oh yeah, that's right, they actually had a Japanese voiceover for this one. Ooh, that might be fun. Ooh, that might be fun. That's not gonna be for the channel, though. I can go through and play it with the Japanese voiceover with English subtitles and try to figure the game out that way. Oof. They did a great job though. I mean, the game was, I didn't really encounter any bugs. I think the only bug I encountered, which ha ha ha, was when I'd squish a bug and it was on a wall, it would, the model would stay floating in the air. That was the only bug, quote unquote, I encountered. Everything else was, was good. I had my complaints, but man. Uh, so many special thanks. Oh, wait. Oh, all the babies that were born during production. That's sweet. Oh, yeah. Unreal Engine. Um, I guess that's the last thing I will talk about is I've had a few folks that have been pestering me and like, hey, what's up with your game? Only thing I can tell y'all right now is that it is still iterating. It's still... Uh, primarily on paper. Um, I do have some of the voice cast picked out already. Obviously going to be using Unreal Engine 5. Um, there's been some updates to the engine. I'm not really sure if I'm going to jump on those. I'm not sure if they're necessary uh, for what I'm planning on doing. But that's where it's at. Alright, here we go. I've been waiting for this. Okay, combat challenge. Standard puzzle challenge. Standard ending leave. Got one of eight endings, took me 22 hours. Most people were like, oh, dick you like, 15 hours to get through. Like, dude, were you even enjoying the game? Traveled 53 kilometers, picked up 407 consumables, picked up 59 notes, 315 locked doors. Number of times, check the map, 178. Golly, they really went in. Enemies killed, 340. By shooting, 48. By fighting, 292. Which, uh, total damage you received, a lot. <laughs> Favorite weapon, steel pipe, absolutely. Uh, 137 windows, 132 healing items. Died three times, not bad. 
Number of dodges performed, 950. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring, so yeah, give me a dodge button and there we go. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, I am. Oh, that's cool. It changed the title screen. That's so awesome. All right, folks. I'm not going to even do the little blog video because I want to leave this up on screen. But thank you for following along with this series. This has been great. Um,. I hear a lot of other, you know, YouTubers who are very well established with millions of followers and they talk about the games that really hit them at the beginning of their channels and I really really feel like this is going to be this is going to be the one that hits me and that I will always reference back to. And who knows, maybe 5 5 years down the line I'll come back and I'll replay this game, do a whole new series, maybe play it on hard hard mode with weird graphics or whatever else they add to the game. If there's ever a Born from a Wish DLC that comes out, you absolutely sure I will be playing that on the channel. Um let's hope it does. Uh, man, I'm really hoping for a photo mode because I really, I honestly, I would start an entire account on whatever social media and just make it pure Silent Hill 2 photo mode. I would do that. Just do it every day. Like brand new, find a new shot every day and just post one. Like that would be so much fun. So fingers crossed. They listen to what we want and give us photo mode. Um, aside from that, please do the YouTube stuff. Helps the channel out. Want to grow. Um, this is a great foundation and I want to keep expanding on that so like comment subscribe notification bell i have to say that every single time i have to say it and i hate it i wish youtube was simple like it used to be back in the day but it's not um but anyways yeah do all the youtube homework for me if you don't mind i really appreciate it and remember to love one another all right y'all man that was that was a good one i'll see you in the next one